Oh boy, we got a good story. We got a good story today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it looks like an illegal base jumper gets parachute stuck on a cell tower. Oh man, the irony is real. So is the cringe. The 20 year old ended up calling the police on himself after, the, after his parachute became caught on a guy wire, leaving him dangling perilously 50 feet in the air. Woo. Wisconsin is where this happened. A base jumper who jumped illegally from a northwestern Wisconsin cell phone tower ended up calling the police on himself after his parachute became caught on the guy wire, leaving him dangle, dangling exactly 15 meters or 50 feet from the ground. Police say the 20 year old man jumped from the 300 foot or 90 meter Charter Community Tower in Marimoni, Wisconsin on Thursday. I butchered that city's name. I can't, these cities are crazy. Just name it like Todd. Name it Todd, the city of Todd. That'd be much easier. Uh, after his rescue around 9.30 a.m. So he was an early riser. This motherfucker got up and was like, I want to jump off a cell tower. He was ready. He was just pumped. Because 9.30 a.m., that's early. I don't wake up before 10. That's for goddamn sure. But this guy, he was motivated. I like that. Anyway, after his rescue around 9.30 a.m., the man was treated at a Mayo Clinic health system and arrested for crimes of criminal trespassing. Base jumping stands for a building, antenna, span, and earth, the four common objects from which base jumpers launch their descent. Whew. Anyway. Uh, wow. So that guy's kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. There's a video here that I kind of want to watch, but at the same time, you won't be able to see it uh, because I'm, I, I, I don't know how to edit shit. This is all just off the cuff. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and just watch. Maybe, maybe you can hear it. I am in court. Say Mason Barth tried to parachute off a 300 foot communications tower in Menominee yesterday, but he got tangled up in a wire. WCCO's Aaron Hazanza that spoke to the 20 year old college student about needing to be rescued from his own <laughs> stunt. You can actually still see Mason Barth's parachute up there Holy tangled shit. in one of those support wires. He's got some balls. Maybe That's really high. I'm not going to lie. He has a message for the first responders who saved his life. And I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who was there and helped me. Um, without them, I, you know, I might not be here today. Three, no, you three, wouldn't. What? Mason Barth lives his life over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something I love doing. I'm really passionate about. But his latest yeah, girl's passionate about breaking the law. Jump off of this communications tower ended in a call to 911. It ended bad. And all yeah, of us it were did end pretty bad, say, didn't it? <laughs> it's embarrassing. Just in one, what, how are we going to get him down? Bart's parachute got stuck on a support wire. For this is he's lucky that wire held. Well, platform. he would have been this fucking is what was used worm to food. Gain access to he would have been flat as a pancake. Okay. But this bucket truck wasn't a high enough pancake. to reach Barth, so a city worker in a boom truck had to climb up and cut him loose. Wow. Okay, so yeah, they climbed up in a boom truck. I mean, like it's like a crane. Ugh, man. He probably feels really stupid. Anyway, that's today's dumbass. Thank you for tuning in. Until um, next time, don't forget to pull out. <laughs>